That's right. And I just want to give you guys that are going to be getting hit with this major nor'easter that's coming to the East Coast. Good luck to you all. I hope you guys are all safe and sound. But while you're all stuck in your houses with all this snow that you guys are getting hit with, a great thing to watch is a neighbor's marathon. That's right. Go back and watch some of our older videos and see just how much we've changed. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can do that. Just a just an idea, you know. Just just a thought, just a thought there. So we only have a few new people to welcome. We have a lot of new subscribers, but we only give shout outs to those that leave comments. So welcome to all the new subscribers. But let's get going with Talia and John. Welcome to the neighborhood, and they have a channel. So go by and check out their channel. Travis Lee, welcome to the neighborhood. Dandy Lyons, welcome to the neighborhood. And she has a channel, so make sure you go by and check out her channel. And I want to give a shout out to Jerome190573. Shout out to you, Jerome. Make sure you guys go by and check out his channel as well. Getting cat hair in my face. And for those of you who didn't know, we have two other cats. We have Mama Kitty and Mojo. And some of you also who do know we have the other cats have been asking if we can get them on video. Mojo, we see Mojo a lot. We see Mojo a lot. I don't know why we don't have her on video more often. Um, we will make sure to do that. And in the morning is usually when I can get Mama Kitty on video. So I will make sure to try and do so. So, let's um, do birthdays. Jerry Colburn, happy birthday on February 11th. She is going to be 31 years old. So am I. <laughs> Sorry. Michelle Jones, happy birthday to her dad and her sister, whose birthdays are both on February 12th. Music and lyrics. Congratulations, she passed her passed her math exams. Yay! Yay. Tanya Ray, this comes with happiness but also sadness. Happy birthday on February 2nd. And happy birthday to my nephew whose birthday is also on February 12th. And my daughter, Megan, who's also on February 12th. And my niece, Crystal, who is on February 19th. Wow. Crystal is going to be 18 years old. And guess what, everybody? She's coming for a visit soon. So you guys are all going to get to see Crystal. Yay. Yay. So happy birthday to everybody who's had birthdays. And just a note, Faith, Hope, and Love is coming out with a Faith, Hope, and Love channel coloring book. That's right. And they're going to have a giveaway on their channel once they hit 700 subs. So if you're not subscribed to Faith, Hope, and Love, make sure you guys go over, subscribe to them, and watch out for their coloring book. I cannot wait. If I don't win one, they better sell them because I need a Faith, Hope, and Love coloring book. <sighs> okay. Now, for our sad parts of the video. Um, being Lucy Owl, Northern Lights in a Northern Town, um, which is Lucy and Michelle. Um, Michelle's uncle passed away on Saturday. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you, Michelle and Lucy and Michael and Ellen and your entire family. Uh, Jerry Colburn, whose birthday is February 11th, she is very congested again. She went to the doctors, and as you all know, that when she gets sick, probably, I'm going to say Jerry, correct me if I'm wrong, probably about 85% of the time, maybe 85-90% of the time when she gets sick, she, gets to, she has to be, be put in the hospital. So she's hoping that this is one of the times she does not have to go to the hospital because she doesn't want to spend her birthday in the hospital. So um, good luck to you, Jerry, and our thoughts and prayers are with you. 
And um, Tanya Ray, whose birthday was February 2nd, um, her father, I, her stepfather, I announced a couple weeks ago, had passed away um, on January 20th, and she had just had surgery and was doing fine from the surgery. Unfortunately, um, she found out the other day that she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you, Tanya. Um, and we will definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers, and I'm here if you need to talk. I'll be sending you back a message shortly. So that's what we have for that. Um, last week's question was, what do you think is the greatest invention in your lifetime and why? What do you have for that? I think, and I've been thinking about a lot of these things, obviously the computers probably changed everybody's life more than anything else, but it always was something that I resisted for a long time, being old. Uh, and of course the cell phone being really huge, which again, I try, avoided the cell phone forever because I didn't want to be found. You can always be found when you have a cell phone. But uh, probably the thing that, has cha that, that I have appreciated the most has to do with the uh, the digital camera and how how good the digital camera has become where you can actually uh, produce your own movie or, or documentary on your laptop so which is what I've been doing over in our on our uh, ghost channel and um, it's I went uh, I was a kid we had a super eight yeah, yeah. but wind it up yeah it was all qu silent. If somebody had a 16 millimeter, we were freaked out because that was probably a, a $2,000 item that didn't do much better than the 8 millimeter. But uh, then the videotape machine, I remember my first video camera, I had to have one, was $800. And it sat on my shoulder. We just had one of those recently from my dad. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's in the garage. And uh, it's obsolete now, and now we could just put this, videotape this, and I'll put it right on the computer and put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Crazy. And all the stuff you can do with it, you can now do all your own special effects and stuff. One of the things I think is a fantastic invention is phones. The, the touch dial phones <laughs> instead of the dial phone. Because when you're dialing a number and if you mess up, you have to start all over again. And Getting the wrong number all the time. When I used to live in New York and have to call out here to California all the time on one of those rotary phones, oh my gosh, it would take me forever to get through because I would have to dial and then I would mess up and I would dial again and it would just take forever so I hated those rotary phones I remember when I took a trip to um, to Europe back in 85 and tried to phone home from <sighs> from Germany you had to uh, uh, it was from the hotel you had to get the hotel front desk to dial the operator who has to get an overseas line and uh, which would then dial uh, the house, and it takes about an hour <laughs> just to try and get a phone. That was call. fun. And nowadays, you don't have to do that, so mine was phones. But we had some interesting answers. Bambi and Terry, all, both of them said um, computers and internets. Bambi said she remembers um, when, ha when they had a uh, dial up and the shrieking of the dial up when, <laughs> when you had to go online. Um, and Terry's uh, personal computers and the internet. Um, the Abyss 92882 says video games. Life is less boring now with video games. Um, Dougie Stiles says the electronic calculator. It's easier than working out a calculation on paper. I remember when they came out. I don't think I could remember how to work out a calculation on paper. Well, I, I used to have to do it. Oh, terrible. I don't think I could like, remember not a math how person. now. I remember Megan was such a big math person oh. that I would drag her with me to Home Depot. <laughs> to, I need this much. Uh, I need this many uh, board feet. What's that? <laughs> she she like, would Rrr. calculate it all in her I head. <laughs> and Susie here, um, it's spelled circuit, but it's pronounced cricket machine for scrapbooking and card making. It makes vinyl sayings. 
it turns materials into, makes materials for quilts, stencils, and even etches glass. It's a really handy craft machine. Hint, 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 Oh, hint, you don't hint, need hint, another hint. craft. <laughs> Get me away from coloring for a little while. <laughs> so, my question for this week is... Using the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name, I would like you to come up with two words that best describes you and why you picked those two words. There you have it. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. I haven't done this in a long time. Let me do that. Beep, 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 beep. Time for Kevin. Okay, so last week we were talking about a George Romero Wasami film from 2009 called Survival of the Dead. And uh, my question is what animal was in that movie, 2009, who shows up in a current hit television series, which was um, uh, Walking Dead? That starts this Sunday! And it started in 2010, didn't it? It's, it was yes. Just a year after the uh, George Romero movie, and it uh, the first. Couple... No, it's it, this is season seven that's starting right now. But I think it started in 2010. Yes, it did. I'm sorry. Yes, it did. 17, 10, and seven. Got it. So uh, the opening uh, uh, first. I don't think it was the first episode, but it was one of the first episodes. He finds a horse. And that horse is the same horse that was used in the George Romero movie, if you've seen it. Uh, I will tell you, it's kind of an odd thing. There's a zombie riding a horse in that one. So, that was the answer. And those who got or that correct was Tanya Longley, uh, uh, Terry Johnson, and Abyss92882. Woohoo! Yay! So tonight, this question is a kind of a strange one. It's not really strange. But um, the movie Orphan, I don't know if you remember seeing that, uh, kind of a creepy movie, creepy kid movie. Um, the poster from that movie was creepy. But they, they did something with the poster to make it creepy. What did they do? Why is that poster so creepy? And it's the uh, same one that's on the, uh, the, the DVD and uh, cover. So that's now the you question. just told them where to go and look. <laughs> there you have it everybody your trivia question and your question of the week you are all part of our neighborhood community each and every one of you out there we would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us sit here like this <laughs> we love you all so very very much somebody said they wanted to see you do the shout out part no because I can't remember it. That's the answer. And I can't do this, whatever that is. It's this. I can't do it. I don't have enough fingers to do it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys 